Hi guys, this is the Lorex 4K Ultra HD NVR 8 channel PoE camera system. Uh, I just bought it recently, I'm installing it currently, I have like four cameras up besides the point. I really like it, the thing is, it's off right now and this power supply fan, if you can hear it, is so loud, so loud. Uh, so I've taken it apart to see if I could replace it, I can, I purchased the premium Noctua fan made in Austria. Uh, it is around $13, $14 retail, it's at a premium price, but it is well worth it. I have a larger size in my personal computer and they're absolutely silent. Uh, they come with rubber mounts to hold it in place to make it even more silent, rubber grommets around there, it's absolutely perfect. This is the A4 X20 if you're gonna purchase one yourself. A4 meaning 40 millimeter in uh, direction, uh, height and width, and 20 millimeter X20 depth so as you can see you're going to want the little bit fatter one there's also a 10 millimeter depth one in here but it doesn't seem to be running as hard as this one so i'm just going to replace this one i don't feel like spending 30 dollars on additional fans when i just spent close to 900 dollars at a discount for this unit so let's go ahead and break it down um i'm gonna just unplug a few things and then we'll get back to uh filming so we can... okay so I am under the impression as a viewer that you know as much about PCs and equipment as the camera person that is filming right now. So she's going to be asking any questions that you may have as you're watching this video because uh, she may know as le less as you do. So during this process we're going to go ahead and speed up me taking off these screws. There's about 12 screws you're going to take off total. And there are three different types of screws. So the first four screws are on the outside, here, 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 and here. These are just the exterior case or panel screws, as I'm going to call them. And I'm sure many people would probably agree that's a good term to use. So I'm going to put these over there. Just give it a slide out towards the back, and then you can go ahead and lift off the cover. Put that to the side. And this is what we're going to be working on. This is the power supply fan. The fan is located right there. That's what we're going to change out. I also mentioned the smaller 10 millimeter fan. Uh, it's, I think it's more just a CPU fan, but it's not even really sitting on the heat sink. It's kind of off to the side and it doesn't really work very hard. And if it does, it's very, I can buy that later on and change it with four screws. Very easy. Just pop that out and change out that pin. So let's go ahead and take up the actual power supply fan. So these are the next set of screws. They are a little bit different, they are much tinier, and they have a flat back. And if I recall correctly, I'm gonna actually take off five of them. Oh, these are different, there's three of them. Two of them are deeper and fatter, and they are closer to the power supply switch. And three of them, two of them are here, and the third one is over here for the tinier ones, and the two fat ones are right there. So I'll go ahead and show you one more time when I take off this last screw. And you'll see when you do it yourself. So I got these three tiny screws right there. They go here, here, and here, and the two fat ones go here and here. Now, we have to, now the power supply is free from the face, which should be able to slide it out. The only problem is it's mounted, or not problem, obstacle is it's mounted back here with these two last screws. using my my ratchet screwdriver but I'm in the wrong direction. Oh that screw just fell at the bottom. Not a big deal. Okay. So basically we are almost done with that. Now put these two screws off to your side too. These are the mounting screws for the power supply. And your power supply is now free. As you can see free as a bird. Got your fan right there. Now we just need to do four more screws and we are done. So they're going to be located on the power supply right there and there on each side. And these are also flat back screws, but I think they may be the same as this one. Okay, so they're those same exact ones as the time. Uh, maybe not. So we're just going to separate them. But they look pretty similar. They look pretty close, just a little bit longer and I don't want to mix them up if they are a little bit different, so we're just gonna 
put them off to the side. So far, any questions, Gabby? Um, no, everything seems pretty clear. Okay. Yeah, and we're almost done. Once I get this off, you can go ahead and... Wait, so that's the fan? That is the fan. That is the little bastard that's making all that noise. Okay. So I'm going to change him out. So this one, you just slide directly upwards. It's a little bit tricky to get back on, but I'll show you it later when we get to that point. So put that panel off to the side, and we're going to be very careful when we come around these electronic parts. Obviously, you want to make sure your power supply is disconnected. I should have mentioned that before, but that was pretty obvious when I didn't have it in place. Uh, you can um, uh, uh, decharge yourself by touching the metal case to make sure you're not uh, frying any of the electrical components. But you shouldn't have to worry about that. It's, uh, I mean, worry about it, but it's not going to be a big deal. So you just go ahead and grab that fan and just kind of get it out of there. And we are basically, it is free. Now, you see that little clip down there? That is our connector clip. And we are just going to get it out of there. Uh, let's figure out how it is connected and I'll let you know. I think we may just pull it out and it should come free. Yep, it just comes right out. So, we have our new fan in place. This is our old fan. The label was facing out. Uh, typically, the label will let you know which direction it blows. Sometimes on the side of the fan, there's a little indicator to let you also know which direction it blows. But most of the time, it's blowing out towards the, the label of the fan. So. We are just going to look, see our connectors. That one is a tiny, tiny, tiny connector. I hope I have a connector that, or an adapter that I'll be able to use for that, because that would be very unfortunate if I couldn't plug it in. What is this? Join pins. Oh no, this is a low noise adapter. Okay, that's all gravy and stuff, but I need to plug that in. Can you stop it? Yeah, you can stop it. Okay, so ran into a slight problem as I was trying to install the fan. The Noctua has a three pin connector. Uh, the reason it has three pins is it has three wires, and the yellow wire, the third one, is for variable speed, meaning it can you know change uh, how fast the fan spins. Uh, so the red and black wire are just fan wires. The standard one came with a two-pin connector, so it doesn't have variable speed. So I had to cut off the one that it came with and splice it to my brand new fan that I know that I just spent premium dollars on. Or I hate using the word premium, but I spent a lot of few on a fucking fan. $14 on a fan. <laughs> and uh, so I spliced it together. Look at this. My brand new fan, I spliced it together. Real crap like, and that's not even really a splice. I kind of just use these wire ties because I don't have a soldering iron. So if you have a soldering iron and you know how to splice, this video is probably too, too uh, whatever the opposite of advanced is. <laughs> my SLR is not working in my head. Okay. I just excellently turned out. I want to show you uh, how quiet this is before I go ahead and install it properly. So let's go ahead and plug it in. It's kind of hard to do with these little twisters. I'm going to, hopefully it'll fit when I close the lid. And it looks like it will. Okay, so let's turn it on. I'll show you. What you're hearing is the coil winds from the actual components of the coil. This fan is literally silent. You can see it yeah, running well, too. It's on. It's on. Can you? Where's the microphone over it's here? Right here yeah. yeah, it's right next to it. You can't you, hear it. You can't hear it. Maybe you can hear the wind blowing, but yeah, it's off. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn everything off, disconnect it, and then we are basically just gonna reassemble uh, the entire thing. Uh, and to do that, you just do everything I showed you in reverse. Uh, so stick around for the rest of the video if you want me to show you that or you know you can basically figure it out <laughs> if you you know feel comfortable with all the steps I provided 
So I'm just gonna do some cable management, see if this sits flush. My fan does not sit flush, not yet. Now it sits flush. See, the mounting holes are nice and there and there. Um, I am probably blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Uh, blah 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 blah. Not going to use these rubber mounts. Cause it's already so quiet. It's all. It's already so quiet, and it's um, it's just gonna be a pain in the ass to try and do that. So.